Benjamin Gump, running back coach and assistant strength and conditioning coordinator here at NWOSU. This is your summer main. Our coaching staff has been a combination of hard work, countless hours, and dedication to our men in this production. Hey, if you want to be good, just watch. Do the bare minimum. That's what everybody does. But if you want to be great, study this this summer, come ready for fall camp. I'm giving you the tools, I'm putting the ball in your court. Now it's time for you to do your job. Ride, range, and ride. These are some of the individual drills that you be doing in fall camp. Uh, these are everyday drills that we're going to rep, rep, and rep some more. So pay attention, learn some, and keep on pressing on. There are five sections in individual session, and the first one that we always start off the day with is uh, it's called foot control. Stance and start is a drill that we do every day without fail. Stance start is so important to a running back because it eliminates false steps, minimizes movement, and maximizes production. As you see, there's no false step here. Going to triple extension, as you will learn later. Driving out, jogging out. We go about five to 10 yards. So if you're repping it on your own, that's the distance. As you see close up on my feet, driving no false steps. False steps, wasted movement. Second rep, taking the knees off, taking hands off your knee. Same thing. Third set is all the way standing up. Getting a forward lean, really driving out on this last set. This drill is a lateral movement progression that covers a lot of general areas of a running back and running back's production. So to start it off, we're gonna start five yards away from the cone. As you proceed the cone, see in the diagram, you're gonna take two steps, defy gravity, sink your center of gravity, and really working on the stabilization muscles and excelling through the cones. Once again, as you see my low center of gravity upon this cone, finishing through. Last time, speed out. Next we have up is bush drill. Bush drill is a semi-difficult drill that really jump starts a running back's athletic ability. And as you see, now we're jumping off, we're jumping back and lateral off a single leg. So what this does to a running back is, it really hits those explosive muscles, those tight two muscles in the front of the leg and the bottom of the butt. As you see, as this still right here, is signaling out the front of your leg and the bottom of your butt. And also we're working on art acceleration. Seldomly do this drill, but it's knee drops and the object of this drill is sinking the center of gravity once again. Swinging that hip through and forcing our foot down on the ground with control fashion. So, see my foot outside of my body frame. I'm swinging my hip through around the cone, forcing that foot down, going through. The feather foot drill is a great and easy way to develop foot speed, especially a running back or a fullback who needs just that quick one, two step in the ground, but learning how to control the hips as the feet go in the direction. The pressure step is a move that every running back should have in his arsenal. The pressure step is faking one way then going the other. The trick of it is in, as you see Jabari Bigson in this shoot, is in the second to last step, one, two, then going the other. The penultimate step or the second to last step, as you see in the slow down version, sets everything up. One, two, one, two. 
Bunny Hop is a fun drill that we use to reprogram center of gravity and lateral movement. The core is one of the most important but biggest neglected areas in running backs today. We're going to start off with a single arm inchworm. All you're doing is bending over. We're not really looking for a hamstring stretch right here. We're looking for stability of the wrist, elbow, shoulder, and stabilizing muscles in the core. Same concept. Now all we're doing is jumping into it. Make sure when you do this, your triceps are absorbing your upper body, the core is stabilizing it, and your lower body is absorbed by the legs. In other words, bend your arms and your legs at your knee and at your elbow. Biggest thing is keeping the core tight all the way through the motion. Ball control. Football's about that pig skin. Keep it off the ground. So the holes that we go through is just a neutral hold right here and you got three points on the ball and across the chest hold or AP hold. Then a tiki barber hold with all points covered. And finally a back hold, which we really would never see this except in an open breakaway. Now mind control, just like it states, mind control is more working your mind, the game of football, and your IQ of football more than your body. So we will just go through drills just as Coach Weeding is helping us out with this. Just sitting up, scanning the defense. Now run reasons are progressions. So running back's progressions uh, it starts with the run read. It starts with your alignment and it starts with your run read. Now, in 14 and 15, inside zone, you're looking at the closest defender to the center. Now, this is a simple cutback drill that we do. So, if he's playing a gap over or if he's playing a gap up, where are we going to go? How are we going to cut back? How are we going to run? In this instance, we cut back. Also, we're scanning the defense. Coach Whedon stays in his gap, so we go play side. Now playing off Coach Whedon again. You see that step right there? He's already declared. What is he gonna do? I'm cutting back. He plays his gap and I cut back. Now, outside zone. 16 and 17, I'm scanning the defense. Boom, I get my hand off, he's playing wide. I push it parallel, stick my left foot in the ground and move up. Same thing, just like that. Now, 44 power. The back is already over there. Our steps are downhill. Our read is that pulling guard, backside of the pulling guard. Now he's playing the B. It's 44 switch and he's playing the B and we're running behind our B's back. Now we're just working on our steps. Just uh, the little stuff that makes us great. The biggest thing is watching our false steps, everything in every rep, getting that foot, uh, reaching over, getting the ball, it's 14-15, getting the ball, and not, not over striding or crossing your feet. 44, 45 is just straight power steps, straight down, 16, 17. Really getting out there, having the shoulders perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. 
And now to finish out the menu, just with a few routes that we're going to have, especially immediate routes. Now the first one is obviously a swing. Second one, flat route. A lot of a lot of stuff we do, a lot of check downs. We need to protect our quarterback. Just looking at just the option route we have. Biggest one is a wheel. Gonna be wide open on those. 